Roger, we are green light for extraction. Ammo weapons resupply inbound. Lies on HVT, going loud. Hey guys, Thor here, and today I have with me the Magpul PTS PDRC. Now this is a great bullpup design airsoft rifle with some very good basic specifications. Like out of the box, we had it chronoing at 370 feet per second, which is great. Anything over 350 is good in my books. You have a 12 inch barrel within the bullpup body. So you have very good close quarters engagement, easy movement through rooms, bringing it up and down, but a nice length barrel in there so that you can still make a little bit longer range shots and be very accurate with them. Your magazine capacity is 70 rounds, so it comes with basically a kind of a low cap, but it uses any and all standard M4 airsoft magazines. So you can use your high caps, you can use your higher capacity mid caps, you can use other low caps. So you have that availability. Now, some of the great features about this gun make it very unique. Like, if you pull the buttstock off, where usually the battery would go, is where your motor is at. So if you need to do any maintenance on your motors or you want to switch it out and do upgrades, you're going to access it through there. So you're going to pull the buttstock off, your motor's going to be right there accessible. Now your battery is going to go in the base of the pistol grip right here. There's your connections right there. Now it does not come with a battery, but the battery that we found that would work well is the 11.1 volt micro brick lipo style batteries. It'll fit in the holder for the base of the pistol grip and it'll slide right in and lock into place. Now, because this is Magpul, you have a very nice, well-built, high strength polymer body. So it's gonna put up with a lot of abuse, take care of it like I always say, but it'll still put up with more and it won't be that big of a deal if you scrape it on a tree branch or anything like that. Some of the other great features is everything on this gun is set up for anyone who wants to play airsoft. It is completely ambidextrous. You have magazine releases on both sides, almost where your standard M4 mag release would be, so it's comfortable for people like me who've only really used M4s to be able to transition to use this right there. Beyond that, the other two functioning things that are ambidextrous do not actually do anything with the airsoft gun. They're just there for looks and to mimic the real firearm. So you have your charging handle, which is both sides. And then you have a very unique feature, which is your casing directional lever. Now what that does, it makes it on the real firearm for people who are left-handed shooters or right-handed shooters able to choose which way they want their brass ejected while firing the rifle. So if you're a left-handed shooter, you click over the left-hand side and now your casings would be ejected out here on this side. And if you're a right-handed shooter, you click over and now your casing is gonna be ejected out on the right-hand side. So now you're not gonna get stray brass thrown back in your face or down your body arm or anything like that. Again, does not function or do anything besides move back and forth on the airsoft gun, but it's good to mimic the real thing as close as possible. You do have the integrated rail system on top, so you can add optics, you can add your pec box for your laser light combo, anything you want on top, you do have a good amount of space. You can even put your EOTech with your magnifier behind it if you really wanted to. Now the overall design, it's got basically a subcompact pistol grip. So for most people with a little bit larger hands, you might not be able to grab the whole thing, but it's still very comfortable. You have the skeletonized stock in the back to put your thumb, hole, thumb through. Uh, then you have your trigger guard, which leads to almost a FNP90 style foregrip so that you can grab it really good and you get solid stance when you're firing your rifle. So now if you look at the back of your integrated rail system, right here, is a button that is almost completely flush with the rear. You push that forward and it allows you to pop your cheek rest off just like that. Once you have your cheek rest off, there's a hole cut in the receiver that allows you to access your hop up, which is a very large dial, very easy to move and adjust on the fly. And because all you're doing is removing your cheek piece, it's really not that hard to do in a game. You just find some cover, pull this off really quick, adjust your hop up, and you rejoin the game. Now, this rifle is very streamlined, very compact. Everything is low profile, keeps it from sticking out. Because of that, there's something else that is actually very unique to this rifle. If you'll notice, there is no selector switch. There's no safety, there's no semi, there's no full auto switch on this rifle anywhere. The whole trigger system is set up to be very unique and give you all three of those things in one setup. So if you look, 
You have your safety style trigger that you find on Smith & Wesson MPs, that you find on Glocks. It allows you to not pull the trigger unless you're doing a proper trigger pull. Now, beyond that, if you do a half trigger pull, that's your semi-auto, so you're only gonna be doing one round at a time with a half trigger pull. And then when you pull your trigger all the way to the rear, that's gonna allow you to do your full auto. So that's gonna allow you to dump rounds as fast as you can, go through your mag as fast as you can. So what this is gonna make you do, and something that's always good to train yourself to do, is give you good, solid trigger discipline with doing half trigger pulls and just lightly pulling that trigger to get your semi-auto, and then you can mash it to the back whenever you need it to dump all your rounds down range. Now there's some other amazing features about this airsoft gun that I wanna show you. But to do that, I'm gonna to have to take it apart and show you the internals. So now we've gotten the Magpul PDRC ready to show off some of the internals. We've taken out two of the body pins and removed the padding on the buttstock. So it'll just freely swing open just like that. So first of all, again, your motor is located in the rear of the gun in your buttstock. So there it is right there. There's all your wiring. You have the eight millimeter gearbox within the gearbox housing right here. It is an eight millimeter hybrid gearbox. Again, here is your hop up, easy to adjust. As I said before, very easy to move. Your wiring goes down for your battery connectors within your pistol grip. Here's your 12 inch solid mounted outer barrel right there, holding your inner barrel mounted really solidly so it won't move around and won't mess up your shot. You have this hole right here, which allows you to make, to have an integrated flashlight mounted into your gun. You just mount it in that hole, slits below your barrel, and then you just pull your pressure switch out either side of these slots below your rail system and mount it wherever you want on the body of your gun. So there are the basic internals of this gun. All right guys, thanks for joining me again. This is the Magpul PTS PDRC. Right now it is available for pre-order on airsplat.com for $379.99. As soon as they come in, we'll get them out to you so that you can take one of these into your next airsoft game and dominate the field. Again, my name is Thor and thanks for joining me. Don't forget to check out airsplat.com as well as our Facebook page, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter feeds to find out about all of our great promotions, contests, and deals we have constantly going on.